Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today we're going to talk about building materials. So I'd asked on my Facebook page um, just recently what people wanted to hear about in a future video, and building materials was the most often uh, asked for uh, concept in ARCHICAD, so that's what we're going to talk about. Now, first of all, I also want to thank everyone who was part of that discussion. I think some of the things you guys said will either show up in the video or maybe in the accompanying blog post because I tend to forget things in videos. So what I want to start with is looking at my template from ARCHICAD 16. Over the past few months I've intermittently and quietly been working on a new template for myself uh, for ARCHICAD 17. When it's done or in a shareable spot, uh, don't worry, expect that to be shared. Um, and one of the things I was trying to do in 17 was build a new template from ground up. I wanted to fix all the mistakes I made in the past, get rid of all this old garbage that were holdovers from previous jobs and previous versions of ARCHICAD and from templates that I never even saw because they were, you know, built by someone else and handed to someone else who was handed to me, blah, blah, blah. So that's a daunting task. And quite frankly, it's taken me a really long time for too many reasons. So when a... A uh, friend of mine said, hey, Jared, I'm starting 17, what do I do? I said, okay, let me convert my 16 template, and um, you, can, you can start with that, because it should work. So what we have open right here is my ARCHICAD 16 template, and what we're going to talk about today, as I said, is building materials. So I'm going to open up building materials, and you'll notice, as if you're familiar with the concept, when we bring in a 16 file or earlier file into 17, ARCHICAD generates all the building materials. So end up, what ends up happening is from your um, various composites, you know, all this stuff, ARCHICAD is looking at these and generating um, building materials. And instead of taking wall fill from the 2x6 interior and from, say, the some other um, Actually, most of those are actually all the same. But anyways, um, ARCHICAD is not necessarily using the same, you know, this should all be finished material here. Um, but, you know, here this is, say, a different finished material, even though it should be the same. So what ends up happening uh, under building materials is you get a bunch of duplicate stuff. Now, a great thing about ARCHICAD 17, which is, might actually be my favorite, um, advance in 17 is that you can select a bunch of attributes, hit delete, and then replace them with something else. So in this case I'm going to select all those uh, empty fills, select it with that one, hit replace. Now I've got one empty fill left, or I got two because I missed that one. I'm going to rename that empty fill. Now if you notice, um, I didn't pay too much attention to which one I saved, I just condensed them all down to one. Because my thinking is I know I want all those empty fills to be the same, so I'm going to merge them down to one. And that's what I did. And then once I get that done, then I can play with priorities and figure out all that stuff. But again, that stuff that tweaking priorities, that can be done, um, you know, once you start a project and you're in the midst of things and you figure out what the issue is. Um, so I'm going to jump over to a, another template. This is the same ARCHICAD 16 template but I have gone through and deleted everything. So if we go back to here, we get all, all that crazy list. Well, by taking a little time and condensing them down, I got down to 16 building materials. Um, these 16 building materials should be everything I need to do the projects that I've done in the past as I've done them in the past. So I'm not adding any extra BIMness to the models. I'm just saying, OK, in ARCHICAD 16, I had these composites. And these composites did what I needed to do to make the projects I needed to make look the way I want. So you know, there was a sheathing, there was a wall fill, there was a finished material, and that's kind of what I did everywhere. I didn't distinguish chipboard versus other finished material. I didn't distinguish different types of sheathing. I just said sheathing, wall fill, etc. And so that's what this is. So if we go back to this list, these are all just direct translations of 
the fills I used to use, and now they're just you know, building materials. It's kind of a dumb one-to-one -one relationship. And as your first step in getting into 17 and just not wasting any more time putting off the transition from 16 to 17, I think this is a great way to go. You know, everything I had in the past works, and it's going to work now in 17. Um, that said, this is only an intermediate solution. Um, because if you look in the links to this video and, and the original blog post that this video comes from, there's some connections to, there's some links to some blog posts I wrote for the Graphsoft North America blog. Uh, read those because in the next video that I do about building materials, I'm going to talk more specifically about how building materials should be in 17. Um, in short, they should be digital approximations of the materials in the building. And right now, if you look at my list here, 25%, that's gibberish. This this shouldn't be. You know, this should be something like stucco or framing or insulation or something real. Um, likewise, empty fill shouldn't exist. Um, but say airspace represents actual airspace or insulation is insulation plywood is plywood oh, let me jump to my 17 template and i'll show you that a little bit more um, so here we go to my 17 template and what i'm in the process of doing here's all the default ones which i don't like um, here are the ones i'm creating i'm trying to keep them very specific in a general manner so it's wood framing or wood flooring, or water, or insulation, uh, say, or chipboard. And I'm not doing, insulation is a good example. I'm not distinguishing between insulation, spray foam, insulation, bat, insulation, whatever. I'm just doing insulation um, because, and I'll probably talk about this more in the next video, um, I don't care what that insulation is right now. I just know that in all my composites, if we look at some of the composites I've started, that it's wood framing and it has insulation, and that's what matters. And so on the plan right now, I've set it up to default to insulation, like bat insulation, uh, but we can change that later. So I think I'm going to stop here. Hopefully this covers some ultra basics of where you want building materials to be, you know, to be representative of actual things, you know, digital approximations of reality. Um, what your first step should be, which is just take your old template and update it, delete everything, merge it. So building materials, you're, you're, they're functioning, they're going to get all the um, junctions and all that smart stuff together, but you know it's a little, a little weak in that you shouldn't have a 2x6 material and a 2x8 material. You should have a framing material and then through other ways you can clarify what's a 2x6 and what's a 2x8. Uh, and how you do that is in the composite by width or by tagging it with an ID or some IFC properties or some other way. You know, you want the all the 2 by framing lumber to be the same building material and then you designate it for scheduling in another way to separate it out. Um, likewise, if you look at all these things, all the physical properties are just bunk, but that's fine because when you're going your first project in 17, I doubt you're doing any energy modeling, and that's okay because we want to get comfortable using the 17 environment and ease into building materials. Um, and then to step one far back, uh, this is my 16 template opened up in 17, so you can see all the gibberish. And basically, you should just be deleting those, you know, replacing with. Um, actually, you can even do this. You could take all those like two by 12s, replace them with that change that name to, you know, how about dimensional number, and call it a day. You know, you could go farther and go find the energy properties in there, um, change the material to what you need, obviously it's not gravel, paving gravel, and, you know, update that to whatever you want. But we'll go into all that in another video. Uh, so for now, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something, and we've got a lot more coming up, so stay tuned.